England medal, the Norm Smith medal, Brownlow medal, is Jimmy Bartell, Matthew Lloyd. Saturday afternoon is why you play football, Jimmy, and the best two sides of the home and away season have made it to the grand final, which is sensational. Collingwood v the Brisbane Lions, 2.30 at the MCG. And the best thing about Collingwood is I think they take your confidence away in the first quarter, which they've done in the first two finals. Look at the pressure they applied to Melbourne in the first final. I think they won it in this quarter, four goals to one it was at quarter time, and then two goals to zero at quarter time against the Giants. Just create pressure, force the error. The next play just keeps coming in. That's Bobby Hill from five metres away. And that's the key theme. You watch it, all these edits here, Lloydie. The next play just comes in with some ferocity. They get the ball to spill out. They decide when to lock it in and just keeps the opposition under the pump. Yeah, that, that's their biggest strength. They're the best defensive side in the game and they'll have to do that against the Brisbane Lions. Experience counts for so much on grand final day and the form of Scott Penelbury and Steele side bottom early in last week's game also, I thought, set this game up. The way he weights the ball and tells the forward where to lead was amazing by Penelbury. 700 games of experience with he and side bottom and it's composure, Louis. Look, when everyone's losing their head, these guys were keeping calm. Scrappy games finals are, but if you can take the ball first touch, a lot of things can open up for you. And look at this. This mightn't look like much, but he stands up in the tackle and he releases Chris Peer, which again, another forward uh, play. And you touched on Pendlebury. That's just composure, knowing what your forwards want. Tom Mitchell took Lockie Neal the last time these two sides met. He's in awesome form. Yeah. Brownlow again. Yeah, these numbers are magnificent. Dual Brownlow medalist, so congratulations to Lockie. He's going to win the footy, but how can you nullify and stop what Brisbane do off the back of what he does around a stoppage and clearance? I find when Lockie Neal is facing towards goal, all sorts of things can happen. These are good situations for Collingwood. You want to force him to give up the handball to someone behind and has to quick kick down the line. As this one plays out here, McCluggage can only just jam it down the line, which you think on the weekend this will be Moore, Howe, even Murphy, Quainer, these sort of guys. This is another one. He still wins it, but at least you're forcing the Brisbane player to kick long down the line. We see Chera here. You can't allow this to happen. Draws a player in and all bad things can happen. You prefer him just to, you know, corral and force back. Dan Ur can get that ball in deep. We see another one here. He takes the, the player on. Ball comes in deep. And then you have to scramble as a defence. You want to face him away from goal and give off to somebody else who has to quick kick. Brisbane moved the ball as well as any other side in, into the inside 50, which is the hardest kick, the last kick inside forward 50. And some of this last week was exquisite. They had Carlton, you know, were in, in a great position, but Brisbane just turned the wheel and, and Carlton couldn't run with them after quarter time. And some of these kicks inside 50 are amazing. It's low, it's fast. You can't come over and help out, which Collingwood defence does so well. They're able to peel out off their direct opponent and help out. But you can't do this. The, the pace, the ball movement and the only person who can really win the ball is the forward. The defender can only just trail up. What Collingwood have done really well is they've forced the last two finalists to kick long and high. They haven't allowed for that, that lace out pass inside forward 50. And this is how they do it. Against the Giants last week you can see the way they squeeze the field. So you've got you know, three players here. They'll give you the boundary. Three players here. And, and you can see the confusion in the GWS Giants side who have moved the ball pretty well. They're saying, where do, I, where do I kick this ball? And all they can do is kick it long. And that's what they have to force Brisbane to kick it long down the line. Yeah, first thing they do is they get back and block up the 45. Look at this straight away. Forwards come up. Mids if you're in that area. Just block the area up, which allows your defence. You see these players down the line. That's Darcy Moore waiting for it just down the line. Playing, and then Darcy Cameron, uh, another one. So it's just playing marks up and plays into their hand. Look at this. Straight back into the 45. Takes it out, which forces the ball along down the line. And a little mini hanger here from Maynard. Nice little grab. It's about owning territory in this game through your clearance. Can you get the ball and lock it in there and allow your two champion centre-half backs to sit up behind the footy? And that's what we've got in this grand final. Two champion centre-half backs, Harris terrorist. Andrews and also Darcy Moore. So if you can lock it in, look at where he is. He's on the wing there, Harris Andrews. So you don't want Darcy Moore and Harris Andrews on the last line of defence. Yeah, and it's an extension from your, your point before, Lloyd, is if you block up the middle, you can only kick long down the line. And these two guys, Harris Andrews and you mentioned Darcy Moore, this is playing jack in the pack for these guys. 40, 50 metres away. They get to run and launch at it being 200 centimetres tall and great hands. You're never going to beat these guys in this sort of situation. They're the best at it. So you've got to either lower your vision, work your way through it, or shift your angle so you keep them out of the play. There's some wonderful midfielders on both sides and they'll need silver service from their ruckmen. And we've got a great ruck battle. Uh, Oscar McInerney 
he's unheralded. Uh, I think that uh, he, you know, he'll be. They, if they're going to win, they need him to dominate, and he's had a good final series so far. Yeah, Mason Cox got a big start to the game because this guy was fantastic, pushing forward and kicking two goals. I thought uh, Mason's first quarter against the Giants was excellent, but he can do this, uh, Big Oscar. He can lean on the opposition ruckman and really get it on the outside. And we know with those dynamic half forwards and mid types for Brisbane, they can get a real run on, but also try and ask some questions. If Cameron comes up in the ruck, try and get around the ground and, and move Oscar around the ground. Yeah, Cox and also uh, Cameron will have to mm. double team Oscar McInerney. Joey Danaher, uh, he's yeah. got a good record against Colin along with Charlie Cameron. So this is average goals against since 2019 and Joey Danaher and Charlie Cameron here, but Danaher has a good strike rate against the Pies. Now when we see the good Danaher, he is uh, unstoppable. When he's coming up the ground, look at this intensity because it, I'll make a point a bit later. Intensity is to still stay in the contest. Beautiful set shot. He's engaged here. It's pretty tough to beat that one. Magnificent. But the bad Joe Danaher, you can't have you know, these contests where you just go through the motions. This is grand final day. It's going to be hot. You need everyone on board. And as we roll this edit, it mightn't seem like much, but you've got to stay in the contest, big fella. Just not walk around. That, that's not good enough. They can't just have that pick and choose moments. When he's engaged, he's as dangerous as anyone. He is. So now, a tip and a Norm Smith medalist. I think Collingwood's been the best side all year. I'm going to stick with the Pies. And I think Jack Crisp will be the Norm Smith medalist. Yeah. Collingwood yeah. and St Nick for me. But I'd love to see Scott Pendlebury win the Norm Smith. So would I. Mm. Congratulations, yeah. boys. That was fantastic. Great build-up to it.